Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday. I hope everybody is well. Today I would like to share another GD science practice test to get ready for the real test and be confident to get the right answer quick. So I have here 11 questions for you to practice. So let's get started. Here I made this drawing crest through wavelength. This is a wavelength of a sound. So let's get let's go to the number one question. Number one, which section represent one complete wavelength? Is it A, E to B? Is it B, A to D? And is it C, C to A? Or is it C, C to A? Five minutes, just like before. And the answer is letter C, C to E. That's a complete wavelength here. Let's go to number two questions. Which activity is an environmental scientist likely to be qualified? Is it A, advising on diet planning, B, prescribing medication, C, analyzing air pollution data, D, repairing computer equipment? And the answer is letter C, analyzing air pollution data. And number three, which paper burns it has? Oh, number three, this is the base on this information. When paper burns, it has to have a combination of oxygen in the air mixed with a com combustible material that composes the paper. The question is, which would cause the paper to burn faster? Is it A, increasing the oxygen around the paper, B, using a thicker piece of paper, or C, using only a pastel sheet of paper, or D, putting the burning paper in a closed container? Container. And the answer is letter E, increasing the oxygen around the paper. If there's an oxygen, the faster the fire can go. Let's go to number four. Absorption is a process by which substances stick in matter. Which is an example of absorption? Is it A, ice freezing in a tree, B, a candle burning, C, water held in a sponge, D, writing on paper with, with the lead pencil? And the answer is letter C, water held in a sponge. Sponge absorb a lot of water. Let's go to number five question. A food chain is how to show food relationship to a group of organism that shares an environment. The demonstration below represent a freshwater food chain. Algae, the small fish, Large fish, human, is like small fish like consume algae and humans like to consume large fish. The question is, what is most likely to happen if the supply of large fish in a pond is reduced by extensive fishing? A. Human will eat more algae. B. The amount of algae will increase. C. The population of small fish will increase. Or D. Small fish will get smaller. And the answer is letter C, the population of small fish will increase because there's no large fish eating a small fish, so they will increase. The number six question, clear night time stars are visible from Earth, while in the daytime we only can see the big star sun. Why are the other stars not visible during the daytime? Is it A, the stars are on the other side of Earth? 
B. Stars do not shine in the daytime. C. The daytime sky is brighter than starlight. Or D. The atmosphere reflects starlight during the day. And the answer is... The letter C, the daytime sky, is a lot brighter than the sunlight because of the sun is super bright. Okay, let's go to number 7. When we blink is the distance from one crest of a wave to the next crest or a true to the next true. The frequency of a wave is the number of crests that pass any given point each second. The question is, which of the following waves demonstrate the lowest frequency? Is it A, the, a lot of wave, or B, not much wave, or C, lots of wave, small wave, or D, more waves? And the answer is letter B, not much of a wave, so the lizard wave the complete wave that's the lowest frequency let's go to number eight here i drew a cylinder with liquid on it so based on this information the physical and chemical properties of a substance are affected by many factors such as a molecular makeup of a substance and its temperature the thicker and more vicious the liquid is, the more slowly an object should fall through it. So here's my question number eight. Which situations would a marble be most likely to fall at the fastest rate when dropped into a molasses in a granulated cylinder? Is it B, molasses warm for 20 minutes? B, molasses scraped at room temperature? C, molasses stored in the refrigerator for an hour? Or D, molasses stored in a freezer for an hour? And the answer is letter A. Molasses warm for 20 minutes. This is like sugar. The warm it gets, the thinner it gets. The question number nine. Here I drew another cylinder with a liquid in it. This is this is the easiest question of all the 11 so number nine how much liquid contained in a cylinder above is it a 150 ml b 50 ml c 130 ml or d 175 ml and the answer is letter d so it's here this is 50 and 150 so it's in between it's from the beginning, it's 25 ml, it's line. So, that's the easiest one. Let's go to number 10 questions. A low temperature wind chill can cause the body temperature lower faster. More factors can affect the impact of wind chill, such as type of clothing worn, the amount of fleece exposed, and the individual's physical condition. The question is, which of these practices would best protect a person from damaging effect of wind chill on a severe, severe weather day? Is it A, staying close to other people when outdoors? A, staying outdoors as much as possible to get used to the wind chill? C, going indoors occasionally to warm up? D, covering the whole body with warm waterproof and airproof clothing? And the answer is letter D, covering the whole body with warm waterproof and airproof clothing. It's a lot better. The number 11 question, followed by a hard rainfall, some of the falling water runs off the stream and is carried away. Some water moves down the earth with the soil and is placed by a plant and remaining water goes back into the earth and the atmosphere process. Is it A, erosion, B, evaporation, C, condensation, and D, precipitation? And the answer is letter B, evaporation. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share and like and comment. 
you have a wonderful day see you in the future bye